Hi, my name is Rich Springer. I'm the head of industrial cybersecurity at Tripwire. It's an honor to be here today with you in order to talk about the convergence of IT and OT and how we can mitigate production risk. On our agenda today, I'll introduce you to Tripwire and the industrial portfolio for Tripwire. Uh, likewise, we'll be talking about specific industrial risks. Uh, then I'll go into how we mitigate those risks. And we'll look at a specific solution for oil and gas. Uh, and then we'll go into some future integrations and then we'll wrap with a summary. First of all, to introduce Tripwire, Tripwire is a leader in cybersecurity and compliance in the IT space for over 20 years. Uh, Tripwire has been able to bring basic and foundational controls to our customers uh, and these stable solutions in an otherwise unstable world of cybersecurity. And we've been in business since 1997, bringing those solutions to our customers over several years. Likewise, back in 2015, we were actually acquired by Belden, our parent company. And over this time and pre preceding it, Belden has acquired several industrial companies, including Hirschman, Lumberg Automation, Garrett Com, Tofino Security, and then a partnership with ProSoft. So during this time, Belden has amassed an industrial portfolio of solutions with those icons down at the bottom of Belden, Hirschman, Garrett, Com, Tofino, and Tripwire. With those solutions, Tripwire, Belden, and Hirschman provide combined solutions in order to mitigate risk in two different areas. One is cyber risk, and again, we bring basic controls of IT and OT network and software solutions to mitigate the, that risk. Secondly, production risk. So from the configurations of your various devices in the industrial spaces, with those being updated and in the most reliable configurations, you can also ensure that you're operating at the highest output and reliability in order to mitigate any production risk. The way Tripwire provide solutions, we first protect your organization by bringing in integrity controls or how we can control and alert on the configurations of your various software and hardware components. Then we have automated workflows and we also have integrations across the workspace. Secondly, we provide compliance. Uh, Tripwire has a very large compliance library of which can be applicable both internally and for regulatory needs. Um, and with this, there's continuous monitoring, and with that results from that monitoring, we pr provide the results and tests in order to help customers apply their security policies and also to get through audits. And then lastly, as far as performing is expected, the standard configurations that we provide can lead to um, opportunities with production improvements and awareness if, in case we have configuration changes on the floor. Next, from a cybersecurity standpoint, we like to start with what are called the basic controls of cybersecurity. As you can see in the bottom of the pyramid, moving right to left, is that we start with hardware and software inventory. You have to know what you have in order to protect it. Next, we go into log management, and then we also have change control uh, to identify any changes going on in those various aspects. Likewise, we have vulnerability management, which alerts us to vulnerabilities that may have emerged or are uh, in place in certain devices, and then network segmentation. So providing separation uh, zones and conduits in order to separate our networks to provide the best protection possible. So with this foundation or basic control is that we start at the bottom and then we build up. and we also build up in a different direction as far as the maturity of your team, um, likewise with the budget. And we'll get into that in just a second. To move away from Tripwire's suggestion, we can use a third party or a, a nonprofit um, from the Center of Internet Security. Uh, they have their own controls. Uh, the 20 controls in version 7, uh, it's gone to 18 in version 8. But with that, you start with the first one. Uh, the first step, and that is about inventory control. Um, as we spoke before, you must have an inventory of your software and hardware assets in order to begin our cyber journey. And from that, you progress through the steps in order to, again, identify vulnerabilities, 
detect changes, and perform log analysis as part of those basic steps. So the tripwire suggestion mimics very well with the CIS suggestions as well. Where Tripwire begins to separate itself from those basic steps is that Tripwire established a policy library long ago, looking at policies of various industries, uh, from the financial side, from the health care side, and also getting into utilities and into industrial. Um, from a utility standpoint, specifically electrical utilities, the NERC SIP standards are well established and a cornerstone of our industrial business. Likewise, we've also established the IEC 62443 framework, as well as NIST 800 frameworks, as well as other industrial uh, frameworks in our library. So from that standpoint, Tripwire is unique that we are able to bring policy and regulatory audits results uh, to our customers. Um, we see customers moving from an IT focus and then extending that into the OT spaces. And Tripwire has the ability to provide both of those. Likewise, we can manage the, the both of those solutions centrally um, instead of having to provide multiple consoles and solutions to get the job done. Um, so truly, Tripwire has, has newly established the ability to bridge the ITOT gap. And the way we get to do that and really optimize our operations is really from an OT standpoint to reach out to IT. And the best situation we can do there is to leverage the IT best practices. We can also leverage their resources and also leverage their budget. So closing of the gap is actually highly beneficial for OT in order to tap those resources that are well established on the IT side. So how does Tripwire do this? Well, there are two different portfolios that Tripwire has built. As I mentioned in the upper arc for the IT solutions, Tripwire has developed these solutions over 20 plus years, as I'd mentioned before. We provide log center for log management. The Tripwire Enterprise product is central to the policy change detection and security configuration management. We also have a vulnerability assessment tool. And then we also have a dashboarding and analytics tool as well. Now on the OT side, we've also built a portfolio. And again, we are leveraging the Belden brands of the Hirschman firewalls and switches, Tofino security devices, and Garricom, as well as our OEM labeled OT specific asset identification and vulnerability management tools, of which we have two. And I'll go into those in a second. So we have an IT portfolio that is based off of technology that are used in the IT spaces, largely operating system servers. And in the OT spaces, we have OT protocol driven uh, device detection that relies on a passive technology or deep packet inspection. And again, those are largely protocol based. So there are decidedly different technologies between the IT side and the OT side. In summary, what Tripwire does is that we take this raw data of all of the device devices, whether they be IT or OT, their configuration, their software, and so forth, and we take those and we collect them and then we put rules and tests upon those individual aspects in our cybersecurity factory, if you will, and then the output is the actual in sorry, actionable information that allows the IT and OT security operators to make the next steps to mitigate that cyber and or production risk. So I'd like to introduce the Purdue model. Um, this is a way to, that segments, sorry, the industrial spaces, um, and it goes from IT all the way down to OT. So it's a nice way to divide up our networks. As I spoke before, up in the IT area, in the level four and five, is that Tripwire is well established for the solution set that I had mentioned before um, for over 20 years. But in the new space, down in the OT space, we have unique devices. And this is where the OT-centric devices that are protocol-driven and a deep packet inspection reside and are specifically built for these spaces. However, in our factory, 
what we really have are a blend of both. As you can see with the level three in the, in the plant DMZ, which is really the factory of the plant, is that you have servers in that space too. It's not just all OT devices. So you have a combination of IT and OT. And there are many companies out there that can provide IT solutions, and there are many that can provide OT solutions. But what you really need is a company that can do both. Likewise, as I mentioned before, how, what are the te technologies that are deployed in order to identify and manage those assets? There's active inspection, which can be agent or agentless technologies in the IT spaces. There are passive deep packet inspection, as I mentioned down below, in the OT spaces. But do I need to use both in this middle ground? So the challenge here is really about my combination of assets and the combination of technologies that I'm going to use, let alone dealing with the IT and OT administration of who actually owns it, who owns and operates it, and again, the budget. Who has the budget in order to help in this situation as well? So it's a very confusing space, let alone just which technology do I, technology do I need to use. So moving on, now I take the Purdue model and I can start putting tripwire solutions to the various levels. If I look back up again at my enterprise zone or my level four and five, my IT space, this is where Tripwire, again, has been a solution for many years in this space. And so we are well covered uh, in the server um, area. As I move down into my manufacturing zone, again, I am still dealing with servers. So Tripwire Enterprise is still a very viable solution in those spaces. As I move down, I can start to apply my OT solutions, which is the industrial visibility or the industrial sentinel products, in order to now identify those protocol-driven devices. Likewise, in this space, we have the Hirschman products to be able to provide our network segmentation and zoning. We have security appliances with the Tofino products and the other portfolio of industrial devices and hardware in order to provide the best security solutions in these spaces. So Tripwire really does have the ability to cover A to Z in both the IT and OT spaces. Another illustration, again, on the left-hand side are those Tripwire solutions that I mentioned before. On the right-hand side are those OT solutions. Again, you're leveraging different technology for different components. But Tripwire, again, has the ability to do both of these. And again, a lot of different companies have the ability to do one or the other. What we've built recently is a unique opportunity where we can actually import the OT, sorry, the OT devices into the IT tools of Tripwire Enterprise. So here we have the ability to, again, do identify the configurations and key aspects of the OT devices. I can then centrally manage them in Tripwire Enterprise, where our policy libraries, whether they be NERC SIP or IEC or NIST, um, or the ability to create your own resides. So now I have the ability to manage both of my IT and OT assets, apply policy to the both sets of them, and then I can exhibit my results, I can produce reports, and I can initiate workflows in order to improve my security posture. Lastly, an illustration for oil and gas. Again, I can look at my control room as a as an IT space. And here I have the Tripwire Enterprise, the vulnerability management tool, an active scanning tool with IP360, and our dashboarding with Connect. Um, down in the industrial spaces, again, I have industrial visibility and Sentinel in order to pro provide asset identification and vulnerability management. And, it's, and I also have the log center that can work between the two products. Um, and then my Hirschman hardware solutions as well. Um, and so we have the ability to provide the whole portfolio from the wellhead to the control room. Um, and again, we're covering the basics here about our asset inventory, our vulnerabilities, how do we go about securing and separating these. We have the ability to do continuous 24 by 7 monitoring in order to alert us and how to respond to events. And then it also is the optimum set of solutions in order to leverage our resources and our budgets as well. So at, to come back to our portfolio slide, talking about IT and OT, 
uh, again, what is unique beyond the policy piece that I mentioned is the are the integrations that we've performed over the last year or so. Um, we have integrated our log center product with our industrial solutions. Likewise, we have embedded sensors for those OT solutions into the Belden Eagle 40 firewall. So we have combined hardware and software solutions for easier installation, procurement, and deployment. Next, the large integration that I mentioned before between the OT solutions and that asset information to bring them up into Tripwire Enterprise where I can apply policy and from leveraging the IT resources that we can apply both the IEC, the NIST, the NERC SIP, or custom policies in that space based on your own internal security policies. And likewise, we can take that information from enterprise and then we can display it in our Connect product. Next, we have also just released the fact that we can do this with Nozomi as well. So Nozomi is another very popular solution in the OT spaces. We have collaborated with them in order to do the likewise integration of bringing the Nozomi assets into Tripwire Enterprise for that security policy application. So this, again, is a very powerful integration in order to bridge the gap between IT and OT. Next, we have performed an integration between our OT solutions and IP360. So the Passive deep packet inspection is very important for asset detection and vulnerability identification in the OT spaces. Where it's applicable, the ability to actively scan specific devices is very powerful to bring much more robust information and greater insight to the vulnerabilities that have been detected. And so that is coming out shortly with our IP360 integration. Lastly, we are also about to release a managed service for our OT solutions. We have been performing our expert ops managed service for IT for several years, and it's a, a very nice growing part of our business. And so we're replicating that for OT. And so that way we have the ability for customers who are lacking in resources uh, that we can help them from a managed service standpoint to operate the OT solutions as well. So with that, you can see that Tripwire again was built upon the foundations of IT cybersecurity, and then we built a portfolio of OT solutions both on hardware and software, and we continue to integrate these OT items into our IT portfolio to bridge the gap between the two of those. So in summary, I've covered the aspect of, of cyber risk and how we deploy those basic steps um, and bring you that asset inventory, the vulnerability management, the log management, and the and again the basics of cyber hygiene in order to make sure that our I, sorry our OT spaces are as secure as possible. And then we also have the ability to leverage IT assets and resources to be as efficient as possible between both the teams. The way we're doing this on the production side is that the configurations of the components on the factory floor or on the pipeline or at the refinery all are based on configuration. Um, the vendors in those spaces are releasing firmware and software improvements, not only for cybersecurity, but also for reliability and higher performance in those components. So whether it's SCADA or a DCS system, timing matters, reliability matters, and all of these can have an impact on your production. So in summary, Tripwire, with the ability for IT and OT solutions, is, is bringing you cybersecurity risk mitigation as well as production risk mitigation in order to ensure that both the CISO and the COO are operating with as least risk as possible. So with that, I would like to thank you very much for your attention. Uh, I wish I could be there with you today, but I cannot. And But I would like to carry on the conversation. So I have two different ways you can communicate with me. You can use my work email through tripwire.com, or you can reach out to me via LinkedIn as well. 
So with that, I'll say thank you and I look forward to seeing you in the future.